All right, now let's talk a little bit about making the voice. How many people, how many of you out there are trying to make your voice? Here's my voice. Ah, oh, here's the baby's voice. <laughs> so in the old days, Manuel Garcia noticed something. He said, we should sing with a miniature cough. So we go, ah, 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 ah. But what are people doing today? Now think about it. They go, why would they do that? Oh, do I get a darker, better sound because they go, oh, what about the high notes? Oh, is that a better sound? Huh? Why don't I just go, I'm not doing anything except the miniature cough. So <clears throat> we have any way that we can activate something else besides up here, we don't have to make the voice. But if we don't use this down below, all of a sudden I have to lift my soft palate. Now, which direction? Some people think up and back. I got the note. Uh, what about straight up? Right? A little lemon set up and forward. Leonard Warren used the priest's knees. <laughs> or you do nothing. I asked George London, I said, George, uh, what do you think about all this, uh, all these formants and all this creating the shapes and, and, and passing and covering and all that? And he said, Mike, do you know, I sing Boris Goodenough and Votan, among other things. You think I'm really going to worry about doing this every time I come to one of those notes? No. So what you do is you take a big breath, find a staccato result. Ah, uh, 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 uh. uh, there it is right there. Uh, uh. If I stay there and I do a, a down bow, I get ah. Uh, 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 I didn't do a thing to make the voice. If I'd opened my mouth, first of all, is it necessary? It looks terrible, but is it necessary? If I open my mouth uh, on that, what happens? I go, does it help the tone? So I'm going to go, Is there any uh, uh, advantage to opening your mouth? How are you today? You can understand me what I'm saying. How are you today? You can understand me what I'm saying. What is necessary? Why do you think you have to make a voice if you don't have one? You can't make one. Is it necessary to open the mouth at all? Why do I have to open my mouth at all? So in the old days, everybody said, just relax and drop it, like you're snoring. Go, you don't have to do anything. And closing the mouth is just as wrong as opening the mouth for the same reason. They both require action. I have to do an action. I have to, I have to make an action. Why would I do either one? Both of them look kind of weird, especially the open mouth one. It's like the, the baby bird, you know, begging for the worm. You know? So all the different ways of, of uh, a lot of people depress the larynx. Oh, do I need to, to, to depress my larynx with, uh, with muscles? So what if I breathe? You notice when I breathe way down very deeply in my lower back, my larynx moves. It goes down as part of the, as part of the, the down move. So I go, oh. my larynx didn't move, but I didn't hold it down with muscles either. All I did was suck it down with my breath. So Caruso said, uh, you have to do massive breathing. The massive breathing required for great singing. That's what he said. 
If I breathe massively, which is a lifetime probably, I've never achieved it, but if you breathe really math, really way down, you go, it goes down anyway except it stays loose. There's no action there. There's a reaction of it getting sucked down, but there's no action to hold. I'm not having to hold any muscles or anything in my throat. So I'm going, see that? No! You can do all kinds of things, but the question is, what should you do? Meister Singer for Nuremberg is five and a half hours long. You want to sing five and a half hours doing all this stuff or not? See, every time I come to Passaggio, you know, do you realize that Don Carlo verdi has got 49 high B flats for the tenor, nine B naturals, and about 500 A's and, and, uh, and G sharps? Now, am I going to do that? Every time I come to one of those notes or not? See? What is a high note except the same thing? Once you get it hooked over, la 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 la, la 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 la, I don't know what note that is. I don't even have a keyboard or anything handy right here. What note is that? I can go look. You can follow me across the room if you can see me in this thing. All right, let's see. I got a piano over here in the dark. Oh, let's see. That's a high B natural, and what did I do? Hmm? La 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 la! Oh, I don't care about those notes. What did I do? Nothing. What did you do in your throat? Nothing. What did you do down here? I went, huh. Huh. Or, or, I can sigh. <sighs> Tito Schipa and Claudio Muzzo use the sighing method, which means you undo, you take a big breath, and then you let it go. Gradually, you let it go. So I sing like that. La Why can't I just sigh all the time? Isn't it less work? Imagine doing some of these great big monster operas. They're always losing their voices. I was in the performance in, in 1960 at the Met, Metropolitan Opera and Tristan, when they had a different tenor for every act, three tenors. I was there for Siegfried when Siegfried Jerusalem lost his voice halfway through the show. He couldn't finish, got exhausted. What is it that is so tiring if you do nothing except stand here and go, ah, oh. see? So that's a sigh behind the sternum. That's Schipa's Claudio Muzzi's method. And then you had Caruso with his contrary motion method. You breathe in and you, and you do the same sigh, uh, letting go except you do it in the uh, abdomen. La Why don't I just let go? La What did I do? Now what about putting the head down? Here we go. Now I'm gonna make my voice. Is that making my voice? Oh, 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 what does it do to my throat to make it so dark and sort of phony baritone or something? What what does it do in my throat when I put my head down? Oh, 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 oh. It makes me lower my larynx with muscles, first of all. No, to do this, to get my larynx out, otherwise it does that. So to get my larynx out of the way, I, I lower the muscles. I go, Oh, how's that? That's more of a tenor sound, isn't it? But I got right up there in the in in in, in the in the right in the nose. Also not good. Doesn't carry well, even if they hear it, it doesn't sound good. Uh, some of the singers sing extremely up like this, like that. I've got pictures of all these singers. I got one of Gigi with his hands in his pockets, with his head like this. I got one of Teresa Strada's. Uh, doing a back bend on a high C. There are lots of them of Skipa like this. A lot of singers. Caballier does that on a high B flat in her VC Dodds there like this. But why do it? You know why you do it? Because you can. 
If you don't use your throat and don't need your throat, you don't have to make a thing. You can put your head in any shape you want. If throwing your head up and back helps you, helps prevent you from tensing or using anything, then by all means, sing with your head up and back. See? Some of the singers like Sutherland, even Pavarotti, when he came back from the Australian tour, they, the Southern always leaned forward very extremely like it, with their head up. If you stand up straight like that, your head is like that. Well, can you sing that way? If you can't sing that way, you must be doing something that tightens your throat. La Why can't I sing with my head in any position? Only if I'm using something. Oh, 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 that cuts me off and chokes me to death, right? But find out I go, oh, 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 oh. you can close the mouth with muscles and you're not spreading the larynx so much, so you, you can usually sing a little bit with your mouth closed, but boy, sing with the mouth wide open. Just, first of all, it doesn't carry well, it doesn't sound good, and even some of the people who got really wonderful natural voices uh, still do that and they don't need to do that. So let's speak uh, some language. Huh? Andiamo. Che cosa fa? Huh? Che cosa fai? Che cosa fai? Ah, uh, fai. Ah. Uh, now how do I sing like that? Do I do that? Do I change the language? See? La, la bella. La bella, the beautiful woman. La bella. Now can I sing high notes like that? La. didn't move. La, because I took a breath. Is my abdomen tight? La, la, no, my abdomen's not doing anything. It's completely relaxed. So why do people think it's necessary to do all this? Oh, what about uh, what about mouth shaping? No. Oh, you do so nice to see you. Shall I hold my, my, my mouth in this shape all the time? Am I making my voice? Hi, how are you? Do you, do you is that my voice now? So let's, let's sing that. Why not sing that way? Huh? stand around looking like this? Is that going to make me sing better? So even if you like the sound, do you like the way you look? Hmm? What about this one? La How about that one? Can you see me doing anything? Well, I did some, but I didn't let you see it. See? I hid it. So what did I do? Huh? What am I doing? <laughs> I'll tell you what that one was. It was a pre-sneeze. I went, oh, 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 oh. and that for some reason is a form that's somewhat like bob, 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 bob. It closes the nasal uh, cavity and flips the voice up into the mask. Somebody said, what is it? We don't understand what the boy, why is that ba and why is b better than m? What the heck? Well, if I sing ma, 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 and my voice is down here, when I get to the high notes, I got no room for my high notes. Ba, ma, 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 So now I've got a cover. I've got to uh, lift my palate. Ma, 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 I have to do something. So why not use the bob or the no the closed nose go ba 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 there it goes now something popped open and the nasal frontal cavity popped open and now I have somewhere to sing. See, all you guys talk about the relative function of the retinoids to the cricoids, but none of you can sing. I admire the guys that know all this. If, if I would admire them more if they could get up and demonstrate and sing with it. But you can't. That's what you think about when you sing. You know, I I mean, do I need to know how many how many uh, uh, how many of those little things there are on the sprocket of a bicycle? You know? If I count them, does it make me a better bicycle rider? You know? We have mechanics that know all that stuff for your racing car. And then we have the driver that can drive the car through a curve at 200 miles an hour. Well, one doesn't necessarily know how to do it with the other. The driver certainly can't take the car apart and put it back together, but the mechanic can. But the mechanic can the mechanic drive 
at those incredible speeds and still keep control. There are two different talents. So do you want to be a singer or do you want to be uh, uh, some kind of scientist? If you're a scientist, great. But you've got to understand that you should be on the science faculty and not on the voice faculty. The voice faculty is supposed to teach young singers how to sing. And how to, what do I tell some young singer that comes, had, had one kid, he was, uh, what was he, 15, comes in like this, goes, ah, is that wrong? No, that's all he had. So I said, take a deep breath, way down behind you, and he goes, now singing, he went, ah, is that wrong? No. That's all the sucking in power he had. Some guys can suck in so, so unbelievable you can't believe it. And then uh, always talk about uh, Jerome Hines and, and, uh, and uh, Franco Corelli. Even Tavaldi did it. They sucked in uh, making a noise called the Miller Maneuver. They did this. Uh, well, what does that do? It causes a resistance in here. It's, it, it's a partially closed glottis. The resistance causes the muscles way down low on your back, what they call the flank muscles or something like that, and they, they, they have to work to pull the air in. So you feel this activity. You also train the activity all the time. Uh, and believe me, Corelli and Jerome Hines sang very, very well. When I heard them, when Corelli came to New York, he was fabulous. And, uh, and Jerome Hines sang at the Metropolitan over 50 years going, <laughs> So if you don't let anybody hear it, it doesn't hurt anything to do that. What hurts is to push, push the air out against the closed lattice. That, that's dangerous. And that's why uh, the, the, uh, another method some people use to make the voice is they bow the neck. They do this. Now, if I'm singing along and I bow my neck, let's see if you hear any difference. Italians have this term, chiaro scuro, which means clear dark. Did I lose my clarity when I picked a more darkness? Do I lose my darkness when I pick a more clarity? If I can get it right, it's 50-50. See, I breathe. Ah, oh, I didn't breathe. Forgot to breathe. Now the vowel is white and blatty and ugly. Ah, but if I breathe big time and don't say ah, oh, I get oh. I can sing that way, but it's all foggy and dark, and it's a man. I'm supposed to do both. I'm supposed to go. Ah, if I can go. Classic tongue position that I learned. I'm no genius. I learned it from great singers. Put the tongue across the lip from corner to corner, and when you breathe, a V sort of forms in the tongue all the way back, all the way back and down. I go, now, what shall I do with my tongue if I want to make my voice? Oh, how about holding a, uh, holding a piece of candy in the middle of my tongue? What shall I do with, how about the ski slope? But what if I would just breathe my tongue? How do I learn? How do I talk like that? And now, after a while, I articulate, and I can make it very, very clear. But it sounds a little Irish. So I've got to make sure that I say, Oh, now with the wind and the body is content, and I relax the very, very back of my tongue. And then my, then my vowels become more normal. See? I don't want to talk to you with an Irish accent. If I do, my back of my tongue is a little bit ah, uh, ah, uh, like that. So I go, and if I go, ah, now what kind of vowel is that? How are you today? So nice to see you. Would you like to go downtown? Now, how am I speaking? Jawless, tongueless, throatless, and the back of my tongue is loose. Oh, I'm nice to be here with you today. Well, yeah, old man, let's go down and get a drop. Shall we go have a drink? Let's go down to the pub. Let's go. Why don't we go to the pub? How shall I talk? I don't mind. How are you? You know, it's really nice to see you. 
And one of the four would you go get a drink down to the pub and not? Hey, chop at the man, it was your father, put the pot on the stool. Which one of these do, do you think is, is necessary to do to make the voice? If I breathe and do nothing, now you may hate my voice. I'm sorry. It, it, that's, um, it, um, I don't know what to do to make you like it. Would you like it better if I did that? Would that do it? Maybe that would do it. Oh, about that one? Oh, you know that you can sing that way? I can sing this way. No, I don't know. I'm going to hear about it. But why would I? Why is it that looks funny and weird and we don't talk about the sound, but this one is somehow acceptable, even thought to be correct. One of my students sang for the head of one of the opera companies, and the guy said, oh, no, no, never smile. What are you doing smiling? Oh, my God, it's going to make you tense. You've got to do this. She said, oh, are, we, are you a singer? Oh, no. I said, no, I never was a singer. Well, but all the great singers smile when they sing Mosetta. This was Quando Minvo, Mosetta's waltz song. Quando Minvo. And he once said, no, no, don't smile. Oh, my God. Go. Quando Minvo. How did these things get so popular? Where did the word focus come from? See? Do I make my voice better by taking my megaphone and turning it around backwards and putting my voice through the little hole in the front? Is that how I make my voice? Think about it. Or do I go... And go, and the megaphone goes way down. I have a vertical opening in my throat, not spread open, but breathe down. And now my megaphone's like this. And I'm a natural pharynx. That's mine. It's not like anybody else's, but I have a natural pharynx. And it works like that, and like a band shell. And now I've created my megaphone and my band shell. And I go, How are you today? How are you today? What if I turn the, the megaphone around backwards and make my voice go through a little hole? One, one of my uh, one student in, that I had in Paris was coaching over there with a famous uh, baritone. He tra kept, kept trying to get her to canal her voice. Well, why would I sing like that? Tell me why would I do that? See? I can sing about a million different ways, but which way is the one that's just me with just my throat, my jaw, my tongue, blah, nothing, everything loose with a deep breath. And then we look and see what is really natural. Now here's what's the really rub. People say, the most natural way to breathe is the way a baby breathes when he's asleep. Well then fine, go to sleep, but we're not asleep. We're awake when we're singing. So what does a baby do naturally? When he's, when he's awake, or laughing, or crying. What does the belly do then? See? <laughs> what shape is the mouth? <laughs> Where is the activity of the breath and the diaphragm? <laughs> so then we're back to, to Manuel Garcia's miniature cough. <laughs> or to Giovanni Lamperti's uh, sty form in the back of the throat. Or to Caruso's horizontal rectangle. He told Rosa Poncel to keep in the back of her neck all the time. So I go... Uh -huh. Hello, how are you today? And I talk like that. All of a sudden, it's like I'm being trained at the old Vic school to be a Shakespeare director. Now is the winter of our discontent. Why would I go, now is the winter of our discontent? I wouldn't do that. Why do people sing in these weird ways that have nothing to do with anything that's natural whatsoever? Maybe the unnatural quality of it has some kind of appeal. Do you think? That's something to think about. Maybe if I go, oh, somehow I'm going to Make a hit with the public. I don't know. So what if I do nothing? What if I say, Bim Badaliocchi? Bim Badaliocchi. I just try to speak it nicely, sweetly, uh, in Italian. Huh? Bim Badaliocchi, pieni di malia. Why isn't that enough? So I take a breath. Bim Badaliocchi, pieni di malia. Ora se tutta mia. Why isn't that enough opening in language and all of that and certainly is it big enough to sing that uh, that music do I need to press it do I need to do a spingeta technique anyway I think that's enough you guys have to decide for yourselves when you look in the mirror and sing what do you see what do you see in the mirror think about it what do you think the public sees they're looking right up your nose with with, with binoculars with opera glasses and you're there going are you doing this Hey, I can't see me. I can't get under there far enough to look and see. See like this. 
Huh? I remember, I remember when Cheryl Mills was singing Rigoletto and he sang always with his chin on his chest like this. And he couldn't figure out how to do the hunchback because if he did the hunchback um, in, uh, in, in, you know, Rigoletto's hunchback. So if he wanted to play the hunchback, he was to get down like this and then his head was here. And he couldn't figure out how to do it. So finally he came in one day and he said, I've got it. I've got it. Look, all I do is play him sideways all the time. See? So he went from, from, uh, from Rigoletto to Quasimodo. He went from a hunchback to a totally <laughs> deformed person. See? Anyway, we should all have such careers as these guys. They're, 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 they're pretty fantastic, you know? So I personally enjoy it more. Somebody says, hello, how are you? And not, hello, who's there? See? That's all. Okay? I hope this... Make you somebody something to think about, okay? Bye.